important that current buyers know they have less competition out there. They're not pressured to make a quick decision after 15 minutes of viewing a home. Welcome back to the Real Estate Reveal Radio Show. Enjoy it every Sunday morning, 8 to 9 a.m. on AM 560 The Answer. I'm Randy Barcelli, your show host, and thank you all again so much for making us your Sunday habit. Um, hey, great topic here. Home sellers, why is it taking a little longer to sell your home now? Well, in studio is the number one realtor from Downers Grove. You, you see him on two videos a day. I mean, the guy's a star. Um, Slav Polinski from Ant Properties, Downers Grove. Um, he's going to share with us some really valuable information. Good morning, Slav. Good morning, Randy. Good morning, Real Estate Reveal team. And, and good morning, Chicago people, And for all the Polish people out there. Dzień dobry. Yeah, Slav speaks Polish. Uh, so we're in the middle of October. The uh, seasons are changing. The weather is definitely changing here in Chicago. And the real estate market is continuing to change, sometimes it seems like, on a daily basis. And what I love about this show is we're here to share information to our listeners to keep them current on what is going on. So today's sellers, they are experiencing something a little bit different than the sellers of six months to a year ago. Six months to a year ago, a seller would put their home on the market and within that first weekend, they would have maybe up to 50 to 100 showings and 20 to 30 offers and by Monday, they were done. Home was under contract and they were good to go. Today, what we're starting to see Average current market time is, in our area, is about 45 to 60 days. Now, that seems kind of scary if you're looking back to... That's pretty normal 5, 10, 15 years ago. Not even. So I was pulling yeah, up... not some, even. Go ahead. So I was pulling up some statistics. Uh, in 2019, 2020, just before the pandemic, the low interest rates, uh, a lot of buyers being out there, not a whole lot of inventory... Just before then, the average market time was almost double of what we are now, 75 to 90 get days. Get out of here. I no, you it's... get out of here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, that was considered normal, and that was... Did you know that, Paula? I did. <laughs> it's taken 75 to 90 yeah. days to close a loan. Yeah. And that was considered a good, good healthy deal. market. That was 2019. The... <laughs> Uh, uh, it was still a seller's market. We had about four and a half months of inventory when I talk about how many months of inventory. So we look at how many homes are currently on the market, how many buyers are currently out there. And if nothing changes, that's how long it takes for a, all the home to, homes to be sold. So uh, the a balanced market is somewhere around six months. So we're still in a seller's market at 75 to 90 days of market time. Now, if you go back just a little bit before that, we know what happened in 2008, of course. Uh, several years after that, 2012, 2013, guess what the average market time was back then? 100 days? Close. Twenty. Paula, any guess? Six months. Exactly. 185 to 200 I told days. I you we've got the most intelligent <laughs> realtors in the history of Illinois. I love uh, that Slav is talking about this because... You, you know, if I could just add one no, thing. please. This uh, year, which is very unusual with the, you know, like you said, you get a listing, you have, you know, 50 showings, you have, you know, 10 offers under contract in two days. I had one, it was in, it was in, we went live in June. Uh, I got, it took me 10 days to get a contract and I was sweating, <laughs> which, you know, right, sure. a long time ago, or few, not even a long time ago, a few years ago, it would have been nothing. So, I, yeah, exactly. You bring up a great point. Yes, uh, a couple of years ago, being on the market 30 days, a home would have been considered still new to the market. Six months ago, people would uh, buyers would uh, be wondering what is wrong with this house that it's been on the market for 30 days. So, the important thing right now is to keep things in perspective. 45. And that's what you two are doing. That's why I'm glad the audience is listening this morning. Exactly. So, we as human beings, we like to compare to make sense of what is going on. And with the information changing so quickly today, we compare to what is the closest that we remember, which was just six months to a year ago. But if you take a step back a little bit and realize that in the normal market it was 45 to 60, I mean, 75 to 90 days, it's really nothing to panic about. 
Now, that being said, you know, why is it taking a little bit longer to sell than it did uh, you know, six months ago? Well, interest rates, we can't deny that. They're, they're higher, right, Randy? They're, uh, the, a year ago, they were around 3%. Today, they're- Which was abnormally low for the last 30 years. That was a gift. Um, and a uh, gift to buyers, gift to sellers as well. And we, knew, we all knew that wasn't gonna last forever. And so now we're moving into an area where things are normalizing six and a half, seven percent historically is still considered a low rate. Sticker shock is going to wear off for the home buyers. And Pat they... Canone, our loan officer, told me that right before the crash of 2008, 2007 was booming. Rates were six and a half then. Yeah, well, it's booming. Exactly. So, hey, we're coming to a quick break. And I love this conversation this morning. I don't want to rush you to at all. I'm Randy Barcelli, your show host. We're coming up to a quick break. Come back to the Real Estate Reveal Radio Show. Do we not play the best music in all of radio? Oh, my gosh. It's outstanding. Realestatereveal.com, R-E-V as in Victor, E-A-L-E-D.com, a website. Keep your emails, text, uh, topics coming in because that's what we do here on the show. We, we bring you valuable content and information each week that you want information on to dispel the myths versus reality. And uh, we're getting some great information here. Um, don't Don't worry. I mean, don't freak out anybody about what's been happening in real estate the past four months. Rates are where they normally should be. Days on the market are where they should be. And we've got even more information from Slav Polinski here. Great. Yes. Welcome back. And again, why is it taking longer for some homes to uh, sell? And of course, the interest rates, as we mentioned before the break, some buyers, they have been priced out of home buying. It has not become affordable to them, uh, the monthly payment to move forward. So they're going to wait until interest rates drop down again and they'll jump right back in the game. Also, this is very important, the current buyers know they have less competition out there. They're not pressured to make a quick decision after 15 minutes of viewing a home. So they're a little bit more picky. Their monthly payments are higher. Like a year and a year and a half ago, two years ago, hurry, 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 hurry bid, 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 and then they, all of a sudden they're, they're nervous wreck because they spent 50000 over list price and now they're having buyer's remorse. But like you're saying, it's okay, everybody. Calm down. Everything's at a normal pace now. Yeah, exactly. So they have less competition. Now they could actually see a home two, three times, second and third viewings. Love where, it, love it. Where that was common before. And so, you know, we're getting back to, and keep in mind, these buyers are working, right? So they're viewing homes around their schedule. So they, they may only be able to see two, three homes a week and uh, before they make a decision and may want to see, you know, 10, 15 homes before making that decision. Now, is it still a good time to sell? I definitely think so. And here's a couple of reasons. Number one, inventory is still low. So if you're a home seller, you have less competition than you normally would. However, there are keys and is, number one is you wanna present your home, you wanna market it well, and biggest key right now is to price it where the market should be and not push it. Because again, buyers are taking time. I know Paul is gonna be talking more about this, why it's important to hire a pro when getting your home on the market. So again, it's a great time to sell, less competition. Just keep in mind and be patient that it's gonna take a little bit longer to get your home sold than it would have six to 12 months ago. The, the key with our realtors on the Real Estate Revealed radio show, Slav Polinski, Paula Avenham, Janie Burks, Alex Corona, um, Kalila Maddox, you know, you all go through marketing and you pay attention and you go over and above just get to sign a contract, put the for sale sign in the front door, I'll see it closing. You guys are marketing it. You know what you're doing. You know how to get it sold. First impressions are online and that's why presentation is key to a home to making sure that our clients' homes shine above the competition. And you shine above everybody else I know in the western suburbs. So Slav Polinski, how can somebody get a hold of you? Great. Uh, number is 630-624-9615. One Again, more time six, on the number? 630-624-9615. And you could uh, find me at uh, DonnersGroveLiving.com. Fantastic. Slav Polinski. And if you want to hear more about him and read more about him, that's what the website is for, realestaterevealed.com. 